Hello and welcome to another episode of MMV Airgun Review. Um, today we have an inexpensive air pump uh, to pump up your PCP rifle air tank with. Just arrived. Um, hopefully it's decent. It was relatively inexpensive. I'll give you some more details as we go here. But uh, without any further ado, let's unbox this thing and see what we got here. Okay, I don't know what the brand is or anything. I ordered it. The seller said it was a great pump. I know it's heavy in the box for sure. Air pump product instruction. Okay, and apparently, new pump. Presently, grams of oil. Okay, so you need to oil this pump. That's good. It tells you to oil the pump. Um, it's got some pretty detailed directions in English, which is decent. But let's, this isn't a, a video on how to put it together, this is just a video on the pump itself. So let's see what we got in the box exactly. A very heavy pump handle, something you would find on a, uh, like a high-end scooter, that's kind of funny. Um, very heavy. And I'm going to imagine this is the gauge. Yes, liquid liquid pressure gauge. That's no joke right there. Uh, when I tell you what I paid for this uh, pump, in the end, this gauge, as you know, these liquid gauges aren't exactly cheap. Okay. Eh, no frills, no frills packing, but packaged well. Then we have our air hose. Seems to be of good quality. We have uh, some extra O-rings and fittings and an Allen key and our parts. We have a multi-tool to put it together. That's great. That saves me searching for tools. And then we have this heavy pump mechanism, which is very heavy duty. So far impressed. Let's get it together and I'll be right back. Okay, and I am back. Well, went together rather easily. I went through and I made sure everything was tight and I lubricated all of the seals. Um, it's a little uh, scary when you first get it because it comes with all these extra parts o-rings seals check balls new valves everything that you need to rebuild this pump a couple of times actually so that's pretty good um does it come with a lot of directions and they don't tell you if it's even all together internally or not in the directions but i assumed it was and i assumed correctly they do so you have this set and i think you have you got enough to rebuild this pump two, three times. So that's pretty cool. Um, I will tell you this, it's a workout. Anybody that's used these knows that it's a workout, especially when you're filling it from zero. I'd imagine that when you get down to, I don't know, you fire off a few few rounds and, you know, maybe, maybe I don't know. I, I, I wouldn't go more than four magazines, five magazines, and top it off. That's just me. But you're good for a lot. I think you're good up to like, what, 200 rounds with this particular tank that's on this gun. Um, but that being said, the gauge on the gun does match the liquid gauge on the pump. They were both right at 3,000 pounds, right where it was supposed to be. Of course, it did get a little hard to pump there towards the end when it was getting to the full point. I didn't dare go over the 3,000 pounds. It worked great. Um, it's a heavy duty pump, as long as you got some energy, because this takes about 250 pumps to get it up to 3,000 PSI when you have nothing in the tank whatsoever. Of course, that's gonna be a lot less if you're keeping it topped off, but it does the trick. It's strong, it's a very strong pump. Very surprising. Um, I tried it both ways. I tried long stroking it and then short stroking. And honestly, with the short strokes, where you're coming up to, about here and coming down rather than up here and come down right there is where I found that it made the biggest difference now this is still hot 
it's hot. You're building up a lot, a lot of heat when you're putting that much pressure in the gun. Uh, but it worked beautifully. It does have the bleed screw on the back, and as most of you know, or if you're new and you don't know, when you're done charging your gun, you want to back off that bleed screw, let the air come out, tighten it back up before you disconnect your hose. Your hose is going to fly off and smack you in the head or something. You don't, you don't want that to happen. So this pump definitely is a great pump. And if a seal goes, they gave me stuff to fix it. So I can't, this is, this is what I want to bring outdoors with me. I'm not going to bring a compressor with me. It's nice. It folds up. It doesn't get no better than that, right? Isn't that great? I mean, that's, that's just it. Lubricate everything well before you use it, of course. Pelagon oil again, right? Works great. So, where did I get this pump? Well, I bought this pump from a seller on eBay. And, um, what the description says, it says PCP air gun hand pump high pressure hand pump for Benjamin Hatson HPA 4500 PSI. So this is supposed to pump up to 4500 PSI. Probably, I think it's well safe for that. That's the green section. The gauge reads up to 6,000 pounds. I would never go beyond 4500 with it just because. But this was really inexpensive. So I'll tell you what I paid for it. I paid $46.09 for this pump. That's a bargain. And it's built sturdy. It's just as sturdy as the expensive hand pen pumps, for sure. I don't regret this purchase at all. Um, it was shipped out of New Jersey. It was here in a couple days. And let me see if I can read you a description of the pump. Maximum working range, actually. Um, measuring range is 6,000 PSI. Uh, work pressure is 4,500. So 4,500 is the work pressure. You wouldn't want to go beyond that with this pump. I wouldn't recommend it. And like I said, it does get hot. The pump cha chamber is a three-stage pump. So when you first start pumping this and you hook it up, you don't think it's doing anything. And then the next thing you know, you're at 1,000 pounds. And it, the, the, then you start really feeling the tension. It starts coming up and up and up. The harder it gets, the more you're putting in, which is really cool. Um, you can even blow up a car tire with this thing if you have the right nozzle, which is pretty awesome, right? Um, yeah, complete accessory kit. O-rings. Um, let's see here. You can do a lot with this with the right adapters. You can blow up your basketballs, bicycle tires, whatever you need, but be careful because it is, like I said, it is high pressure. Um, so, the seller that I got this from, now I'm not recommending the seller, but they assured me it was a great pump, and it was a great pump, so I'm going to give you the seller. Hopefully, if you get one, you have the same experience that I just did. I'm very pleased. Um, hold on, let me get back to the back to it here. The seller is Happy Kiss Soul. That's H-A-P-P-Y-K-I-S-S-O-U-L. Uh, they got a 97.9 .9 positive feedback rating. I'm sure they sell more than this, but this uh, particular unit has a five, or I'm sorry, a four and a half star rating um, out of five. You're never gonna be perfect, right? I'm sure there's always problems, and you gotta understand there's a lot of user error when you put these in. Um, they give you the tools to tighten everything too. Make sure when you screw this gauge on, you don't use any Teflon tape in this, okay? When you put it on, you don't need any Teflon anywhere. You're gonna screw this gauge on as hand tight as hard as you can get it. And then you're gonna put your wrench up underneath, which I don't have, I don't think it's right here. Wherever that wrench went. Anyhow, you're gonna get it up underneath and you're gonna turn it so it sits perfect where you can read it. And that's about as tight as it goes and about where you need to be. You don't wanna over tighten that either. Bleed screw works great. They give you extra bleed screws in here also in case you strip out any of the brass. Um, when you put this handle on, you'll notice that the screws up top, they look like they're weak because I don't, I don't know what they're made of, but that's because you're, you're screwing this into brass. You don't have a lot of pressure pulling up. You're pushing down and the screws are quite long, so you don't have to worry about them breaking on you or anything like that. Quality pump, great price, $46. Um, you can't beat that, right? So 
If you want one, pick one up. I think it's pretty cool. Even if you, you need a backup pump, this would be, be great just to have in a pinch at that price. If you like this video, like, subscribe, share, hit that notification bell, and we'll be getting more products to you soon. Um, you know, this world of air rifles is very intriguing to me. I love it, and I hope you love it too. And uh, stay safe out there. I love you guys. You have a good one.